the most capable, easy to use, no watermarks, adless way to record your screen, OBS Studio. Have I mentioned that this tool is free? This open sourced, open broadcasting software works great for recording your screen on both Windows and Mac and can be used for streaming, gaming, quick clips and teaching. So let's get this downloaded so we can teach you how to use it. At obsproject.com, you guys can download the version of OBS Studio that works for your device. So I'm using a Windows device, so I would be choosing Windows. However, I do already have it downloaded so that we can get started right away. So once it's downloaded, you guys can just go ahead and search it up on your device or click the OBS icon on your toolbar. So when OBS opens up, you'll see the interface. It may seem a bit overwhelming, a little bit dark, a little bit spooky. However, don't worry. OBS is really quite simple to conquer. So right away, you'll see the black screen, which is the project canvas. So this is where your recording will go. And your recording is made up of both scenes and sources. So many sources make a scene. So that way you can go ahead and switch between different scenes while you're recording if you're interested. So a, the sources that are included in a scene is the video, the audio, your screen recording, for example. So if we want to just record our screen, we can go ahead and get started. To do that, we can just go ahead and click the plus button in the sources. And if we want to record just one specific window, we'll click window capture. Or if you want to record your whole entire screen, we can go ahead and do display capture. You can give it a name if you want, and then just go ahead, click OK, and you'll see a preview of your screen recording. From here, we can just go ahead and click OK, and now you will see your screen recording appears on your project canvas. If you don't want it to be full screen, you can always go ahead and move this around. If you guys don't see it, your recording is still black, then there could be a problem with the graphic settings on your device. And down below, we have the solution for that. So go ahead, take a look in the description. So now if all you want to do is just record your screen, no audio, no video added to this, then you can just go ahead and click start recording from here. However, I'm guessing many of you would at least like to add some audio and maybe video into this recording as well. So to add more audio and video to this with a webcam video and a microphone for your audio, we can just go ahead and click add source. Let's start with adding in a mic so we can go to the audio input capture. We can click OK, and then we can choose our correct microphone. So many of you might have a couple of microphones hooked up on your device or a built-in one. I'm just going to go with the one that's built in, and I can say OK. Now, if that's all you need to get your recording started, just the audio and your screen recording, you can start recording. Or if you want to add in a webcam so that people are watching the recording, your face, and listening to you, we can do that too. So to do that, let's go back to Plus, and this time we'll click Video Capture Device. Now we can click OK, and you'll see a quick preview of your webcam view. Hello, everyone. And then we can go ahead and change that if it isn't the correct one. And one thing that I do like to change is the resolution. So I do like to make sure full HD, 16 by 9. And if you stick around later in the video, you'll find out why. So now we can go ahead and click OK here. And two things that you're going to notice, you'll see the preview of your audio and video recording. So I can move this video recording over down here in the corner so that way we can see both my face and the screen recording. In addition, in the audio mixer section, you will see the microphone. So you can double check that your microphone is working, that all of these bars are moving. If they're not, make sure you troubleshoot your microphone or change to a different microphone that is working. So now we are all set to record. However, there are a couple of settings that I do like to double check before we record. So some of you may have seen this when you first downloaded OBS, but up here in the tool section, we can check out the auto configuration wizard. So I just wanna make sure that this is optimized for recording. Then I can just go ahead, click next, this looks good, the full HD, and either 60 by 30. And then we can click next, and then we can just go ahead and apply those settings. In addition to that one, I do like to double check where all my files are being saved. So in our settings menu, we can just go ahead and click on the output icon. Then in the recording path, you guys can double check where your files will be saved. And if you want to save them somewhere else, you can go ahead and do that. So I made a folder for OBS, so I want them to save there. And then you guys also might notice that this is an MKV file, not a familiar MP4 file. So with an MKV, it will actually save all of your data 
whenever you are recording. So let's say OBS crashes or your computer crashes, everything that you've recorded up until that point will still be saved, where if it was an MP4 file, everything would be lost. However, if you are uploading this to YouTube or different video editing software, you will need to convert that MKV file into a more adaptable file like an MP4. Luckily, you can do this right within OBS. So let's do a quick recording so that I can show you guys how to change up that file. So we can click OK here and then go ahead and start the recording. Once the recording starts, we can just go ahead and minimize that window, open up any other applications that you want to start sharing your information with during the recording. Once your guys' recording is done, we can go ahead, stop the recording and then go ahead and open up OBS Studio again. Now our recording is done. It's saved in the path we had it saved. We can just go ahead and in file, go to Remux Recordings. Now on these three dots here, we can go ahead and find our recording that we just did. Click open and now we can do Remux and it's all complete. So now we have an MP4 file and if we go into our folders up here and find where we saved them, you guys will see that we now have an MP4 file of this as well. So that is a quick, easy, free way to record your screen. Not so scary, huh? However, I do wanna show you guys how to create more scenes so that you can switch between them while you're doing your recording. This is super great for teachers who maybe wanna have an intro of just their face and then go into their PowerPoint or whiteboard and begin teaching their students. So we've already created one scene, so let's just go ahead and give that a different name. That way we don't get confused. In addition to renaming our scenes, one thing I do want to point out here is if you guys ever want to crop one part of your sources, so that way, you know, there's quite a bit of space around here, you can hold on the Alt key and then go ahead and just drag this in a little bit if you want. So now let's go ahead and create a brand new scene. So we can just go in the scene section here, go ahead, click the plus button, and let's give this one a new name of just our webcam and our audio. So now that we've given that one a name, we can just go ahead and now in our sources for that specific scene, we can add in our mic and our webcam again. So let's go back into the plus button. We can do audio. This will give it a name if you want. Make sure you click the correct microphone that you want to use. And then we can do the same thing for our video capture device again. So this is one reason why I told you guys to use the 16 by nine. So I do like to use that just so that everything flows really nicely together and it's all gonna be the same resolution and size and format. So now that that looks all good, we are almost all set to just go ahead and begin our recording. However, one thing I do want you guys to check out is the hotkeys. So up in our settings, we can go to file settings and then we can click on the hotkeys section. So hotkeys are just keyboard shortcuts that you guys can use instead of using your mouse and opening up OBS. So this is going to help you so that you have less editing to do later. So ones that I would highly recommend are definitely a start recording and a stop recording. So we can do an F6 here. We already have F7 to stop our recording. And then I would recommend if you have the different scenes to change to switching scenes. So let's just do F12 for that one. So you want these keys to be keys you don't normally use often because you don't want to be doing your recording and presenting and then all of a sudden hit one of these keys and something happens that you weren't prepared for. I do love my shortcut keys on the keyboard so if you guys are interested in learning more especially for PowerPoint you can go ahead and take a look at this video. Okay so now that this is all taken care of we can just go ahead click apply and then we can first minimize this window so that way we can start using our hotkeys so that way we can get everything set up and prepared for our lesson or whatever you're doing for your recording. So I'm going to go ahead, open up my PowerPoint window, and then to start my recording, I'm just going to hit F6. And now our recording has begun. I can begin teaching my class. If I need to switch scenes, I can do my F12 here really quick. Now we have our screen here. We can begin annotating or drawing anything on our screen that we need. Once the recording is done, we can just go ahead and hit F7, which was our hotkey for completing. Then we can go ahead, exit our PowerPoint, and go back into OBS Studio. You guys can go ahead and open up your file as well and take a look at that video. So one thing that OBS is not is a video editing software. So if you guys are interested in editing up these clips, we love using Camtasia. We have a little video here that goes over how we like to use Camtasia if you guys are interested in checking that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah from Inkno. If you like this video and want to learn more at tech tips and tricks and about ClassPoint, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.